Six weeks after the November 3rd election, Joe Biden was back on the campaign trail, this time for an event uh, to support Georgia's two Democratic Senate candidates, John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock. The president-elect slammed their opponents, uh, saying that they would, quote, get in the way, making it very clear uh, that the future of both his cabinet nominees and his policy agenda hung in the balance of these two races. If Ossoff and Warnock uh, can win these two races, then the Democrats will take control of the Senate, making Joe Biden's life uh, much easier. If not, Republicans will be able uh, to block any nomination or legislation they deem too progressive. This was a message for the more liberal uh, voters in the Democratic Party. But Joe Biden also tried to speak uh, to the independents, uh, the more moderate Republicans, uh, those people who may have voted against Donald Trump back in November, pointing to the fact that both Senator Kelly Leffler and Senator David Perdue supported Donald Trump's failed attempts to overturn election results in battleground states, including in Georgia. But overall, the main message uh, by Joe Biden was a simple one, urging his supporters to try to repeat uh, the record-breaking turnout that helped turn Georgia blue last month.